Alright guys, this is a video on using your calculator to do some of these binomial probabilities. Um, so this one I, that we did down here, found the prob probability of most one household is tuned into Lindsay and Tobias, and we did it by hand right here. Um, I want to show you, and I'll go back and show you also with part A, that there is a feature on your calculator called the binomial PDF and binomial CDF. All right, it's under, if you saw what I pressed, I pressed second VARS, which is D-I-S-T-R, and that stands for distribution. So these are a whole bunch of different probability distributions that you can uh, use. And one of them in particular, two of them, are binomial related. So there's the binomial PDF, the binomial CDF. All right, the binomial PDF is what we want to use if there's exactly um, one value that we're looking for, exactly one specific outcome. So if I use binomial PDF back on this one, all right, what binomial PDF takes in is NCX. So I put in, or sorry, NPX. So I put in 25. That's my N. That's the uh, number of trials. And then I put in P. The probability of success here was 0.15. And then X, the number of successes. So in this case, it was the number of people tuned into this show, which they said to use none. All right and we get 0 0.0171 okay so around three places that's that does all of this for you just by giving it n p and x all right and then this one for parts d or sorry part c when i did one, zero or one i could do there's zero the probability of zero and then or means add and then do it again bars binomial pdf and then N is 25, P is 0.15, and then X is 1. All right, and then I add, and I get 0 0.0093, which is what I got right here. Okay, so you can do that with your calculator. Um, but when it's 0 all the way up to a number, that's also the job of the binomial CDF. So if I go in here, binomial CDF, and I tell it n, p is 0.15, and then x is 1. All right, it adds up all the probabilities from 0 all the way up to where I tell it to stop. All right, what it breaks down to is this. The binomial PDF, it always takes in npx. has to be in that order. It always gives you the probability that x, whatever the random variable x is, equals little x means a specific number. So the probability of the random variable is exactly some specific number, just that one number. But the binomial CDF is equal to the probability x is less than or equal to x, right? at most x. So what this always amounts to is the probability of 0 plus the probability of 1, plus the probability of 2, plus the probability of 3, plus the probability of 4, plus forever and ever and ever until you get to x where it tells you to stop. Okay, So the way that you have to, this number, whatever you put into the CDF, is where you want to stop when you're adding from 0 all the way up to that number. Okay, So let's see if we can use it. Alright, so in this scenario we got an airline uh, say that they might might book up to 20 people on an airplane if it even though it can only seat 17 okay because uh, studies have revealed that only about 80 percent 87 percent of people actually show up so find the probability if the airline does book 20 people not enough people not enough seats will be available so that means if they book 20 not enough seats are available if it goes over 17 so that's the probability of at least 18 now if you go back to what we just said uh, CDF starts at zero and goes up to a number. All right, it's for at most probabilities. All right, this is an at least probability. So at least 18 means 18, 19, or 20. So we're adding those three together because of the ors. Okay, but notice that at least 18 is the same thing as one minus the probability of at most 17. All right, if you can't see that, then just sketch a little picture of it. One, two, three, four all the way to dot 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 16 17 18 19 20 all right we're looking for at least 18 that's these three right here 
Okay. Binomial CDF starts at zero and, and goes to where you tell it to stop. So it would start at zero and go to where we tell it to stop. So if we added all the probabilities from zero all the way up to 20, we would get one. But we're going to subtract off from zero up to 17, and that's going to leave us with what we're looking for, 18, 19, and 20. All right, so what I'm going to look, do on the calculator is 1 minus the binomial CDF. A okay, binomial CDF starts at 0 and goes to where we tell it to stop. All right, so n is 20. Uh, they book 20 persons, that's what n is going to be. 0.87 is the probability that somebody shows up. All right, and then what are we subtracting? We're stopping at 17. All right, so we get 0 0.502 up to um, three decimal places, 0.508. Okay, so there is a very good chance that they're going to overbook given that a value. All right, now you could also do this just using the binomial PDF. Binomial PDF, uh, they book 20 seats, comma, 0.87 is the probability somebody sh shows up, and just start at 18, all right, and then add second binomial PDF. 20 seats, probability of 0.87 that somebody shows up, and then 19, we're just going all the way up to 20. All right, and then second, enter brings back the last thing I just did, and then change that 19 to a 20. All right, and then we get that 0.508 again. So we can do it one at a time, add them all together, or we can do all of it at the same time if we use the CDF.